Hi, my name is Seth Pantanelli and I'm a cataract and cornea specialist. I want to be the first to welcome you to the practice. My goal at this visit is to do a thorough evaluation, hear your concerns about your vision, and begin a conversation about whether cataract surgery is right for you. If you and I decide that surgery is the right choice, we will then work together to come up with an individualized surgical plan that helps you to achieve your goals. Our eyes have a lens inside of it that helps to focus the light so that we can see. As we go through life, just as the rest of our body ages, our lens ages too. This lens becomes progressively more cloudy over time, at which time it's called a cataract. So a cataract is simply a cloudy lens inside of the eye and it's a normal part of life. The cloudy lens affects our vision so that things start to become blurry over time. Some people will notice this with their distance vision while driving or watching TV across the room. Others might first notice difficulty while driving in difficult lighting conditions or in the rain. Some cataracts don't blur things in regular conditions, but can cause glare with headlights, making it difficult to drive at night. Other patients might just notice that they need more light to read. These are some of the signs that you might be developing cataracts. Having cataract surgery is a personal choice. Although the results of your exam can help you to make your decision, the most important factor in determining whether it's time for surgery is how much your vision is affecting your life. If you're having difficulty doing the things you enjoy in life, like watching TV, reading, or if you're avoiding tasks that you could have done just a few years ago, like driving at night, then it's probably time for surgery. Since a cataract is a cloudy lens inside of the eye, cataract surgery simply involves going into the eye, removing the cloudy lens, and replacing it with a new, clear, artificial lens. Most of the time, cataract surgery is about a 10 to 15 minute procedure. It's usually done under topical anesthesia. This means we use some numbing drops on the eye right before we begin. We also typically use some IV sedation to make sure you're nice and comfortable and relaxed. While you might be able to hear the surgeon talking during your case, you will not feel pain. Cataract surgery is usually a very easy experience for the patient and a happy experience because it causes an improvement in your lifestyle and allows you to see better and do things that you were once able to do, such as drive at night more safely. Generally, cataract surgery is performed with ultrasound technology, but we also occasionally use other ways of removing the lens that involve use of a laser or other mechanical device. After the lens is removed, we proceed with inserting the artificial replacement lens. Many patients have other conditions such as macular degeneration, glaucoma, or other problems that are not correctable with cataract surgery. Remember, cataract surgery just corrects the cataract. Our goal with cataract surgery is to give you the best vision possible within the limitations of the other issues that the eye might have. To prepare for cataract surgery, you have a preoperative visit. During that visit, we take some measurements of the eye, in particular, how the eye is shaped and the length of the eye. This allows us to choose the proper lens for you. Certain patients may be better candidates for one type of lens or another, so these measurements help direct us toward what's right for you. If you normally take blood pressure medicine, it's important that you take those medications with a small sip of water the morning of surgery. The most common reason surgery is canceled is because the patient does not take their blood pressure medicine and walks into the surgery center with a blood pressure that is not safe for surgery. On the day of cataract surgery, you'll arrive and the nurses will do some preparations, including starting an IV and putting some drops in your eye to dilate it. You'll meet with an anesthesiologist who will determine how much anesthesia is necessary to make sure you're nice and relaxed for the procedure. Then you'll have the actual surgery, which again is about 10 to 15 minutes. Following the surgery, the eye will be covered by a clear shield. We don't usually patch the eye, so you'll be able to see, but you'll still be dilated. So you should expect to be light sensitive and a bit blurry on the day of and even the day after the surgery. In the recovery area, you'll be given something to eat and drink, and then you'll go home. At home, you'll start your drops that same day. Another reason some people can't see well without glasses is because their eyes have astigmatism. 
Astigmatism is not a disease, it's just a word to describe the shape of the eye. Just like some people are short and others are tall, some have astigmatism and others don't. People that have astigmatism do not have a perfectly round eye, but instead have an eye that's shaped more like a football. The astigmatism bends the light funny as it comes into the eye and blurs the vision at all distances. Many people that have astigmatism have correction for it built into their glasses. If an attempt is not made to correct the astigmatism at the time of surgery, the very best vision after surgery will only be obtained through glasses, just like it was before the surgery. These days, patients not only want improvement in their vision, but some also want freedom from glasses. Fortunately, we now have the technology to provide patients more freedom from glasses by choosing one of a number of different artificial lenses to implant after removal of the cataract. The most common replacement lens used is our standard distance lens, which is fully covered through your insurance. With a standard distance lens, patients generally have very high quality vision, and most patients with a standard distance lens are able to drive without glasses. However, patients that receive a standard distance lens should, at the very least, expect to need reading glasses for other more up-close tasks, such as seeing a computer screen, the labels on a supermarket shelf, and reading a book or restaurant menu or your watch. Patients with astigmatism that want to see their very best without glasses after surgery can choose to have an astigmatism correcting or toric lens placed instead of the standard distance lens. Patients that have astigmatism and choose a toric lens usually have very high quality distance vision and just like patients that don't have astigmatism may be able to drive and watch TV across the room without glasses. They would still need glasses for all the up-close work though. We also now have the ability to correct intermediate and near vision in addition to distance vision. This is done with a multifocal lens. A multifocal lens has multiple prescriptions in the same lens. If you're looking for the greatest freedom from glasses after surgery, we should talk about whether a multifocal lens is the right choice for you. So to review, there are three general categories of artificial lenses. The first is the standard distance lens, which is always covered through your insurance. The second is the toric lens, which for people with astigmatism, increases the likelihood they will not need glasses to see far away after surgery. The last option is the multifocal lens, which can increase the likelihood that you will not need glasses for not only distance, but some intermediate and near tasks. The toric and multifocal options are never covered by your insurance. At your appointment, we'll discuss whether one of these options is right for you. Good candidates for multifocal lenses are patients that have healthy eyes in most other ways. These are patients that present only with a cataract. They don't have any glaucoma, macular degeneration, or other issues with their vision. Patients that have a history of corneal scarring, infections, or other retina disease that limit their vision probably wouldn't be good candidates for a multifocal lens. While multifocal lenses are a wonderful technology, it's important to remember that no lens is perfect. In exchange for giving patients freedom from glasses for things like the computer, a book, or a restaurant menu, these lenses borrow a small amount of the light that would otherwise be used for distance vision. Because of this, some patients that choose a multifocal lens will notice that when they look at a street light or headlight, especially at night, that they can see an extra circle or a tail coming off of the light. These phenomena are typically milder than what patients experience with their cataracts before surgery. And as the brain adapts to these new lenses, these things also tend to get better over time. At the Penn State Eye Center, we have some of the most advanced technology to do your surgery. In fact, we are actively involved in bringing to market some of the artificial lenses that are used around the world for cataract surgery. Because of this, if you're interested, you may even be offered the opportunity to participate in a clinical trial, which would give you access to technology that is not generally available to the public. Cataract surgery is one of the most exciting procedures patients can undergo, as it can be life-changing. At the Penn State Eye Center, we will work together to develop a surgical plan that's individualized and helps you achieve your goal of regaining vision and minimizing the need for glasses after cataract surgery. I look forward to working with you on this incredible journey.